can see some of those big puffy white cumulus clouds developing over Tuscaloosa County looking toward the west from the city of Vance. This is from our radar site right off of Interstate 2059. That big uh, white ball that sits up on the tower. You're looking at uh, those developing showers over far western Tuscaloosa County, and I wouldn't be shocked if we don't start seeing a little bit of development around the city of Tuscaloosa too. Most of what you see here with the light green around T-Town, Cottondale, Peterson, Holt, that's not real rain, but it is an indication that there's some turbulence in the air that could be kicking off some more of the showers like this one that's close to reform, especially on the southeast side of town and then out around Coal Fire, County Road 37 in Pickens County. Those are drifting down toward the south southwest. One other little scattered area of showers over Clay County and Randolph County. These are not quite as heavy, but uh, action down there closer to Goldville and Daviston and Northern Tallapoosa County has been a little bit heavier than uh, just about anywhere else over East Alabama in the past couple of days. This upper air disturbance nearby is going to pass us, and when it does, the chance of rain will be completely over. You may say, well, it hasn't rained at all near me, and that's the case for most of us. That's going to be the case again tonight and tomorrow as well as Thursday, and then it's completely over Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then on through early next week. There's just not much hope for significant rain. So an isolated shower or two this evening in the 70s before midnight in the upper 60s early tomorrow morning, and then a small chance of a shower just like today. We'll see a handful of them on radar, but the majority of us not getting rain. The high about 86 in Birmingham, and that'll be a little cooler than it was today. Starting out in the 60s, it's slightly cooler tomorrow because of an east wind. Look at Lineville, 78. Oxford, Southside, Galesville, closer to 80 degrees. But from Moody West through Forestdale and Helena, over to Northport and Gordo and Akron, as well as Jasper, mid to upper 80s by tomorrow afternoon. Here's the future cast. We get these little spotty showers this evening. Once they are over, there's not a lot of hope for rain on Wednesday. We've dropped the chance down to about 10% because we're fast forwarding all the way into the afternoon and you just don't see a whole lot of green popping up on the map around here. And that's going to be the case not just for tomorrow, but for the next seven days. Rain to our north, rain to our south, but not much going on around here. Limited chance of a shower on Wednesday and Thursday. High temperatures in the mid 80s. It gets hotter again this weekend. Would not be surprised to see a thermometer to touch 90 on Saturday or Sunday, but at least those mornings are a bit cooler down into the lower 60s, and that means great weather for the upcoming races at the Talladega Super Speedway Friday, Saturday and Sunday. You're watching WVTM 13 News.